Hello, my name is Vic and welcome back to the channel. We're going to continue building our GIMP skill set. So in the last video, I showed you how to remove the background of an image. In case you missed that video, make sure you click on the link above for the tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to replace the background color of an image. So the first thing that we need is an image with a transparent background. So I'm going to be bringing in the image that we have worked on in the past, and that's this chair. The original image was downloaded from pexels.com. If you want to download the original image and go through this example with me, go ahead and find the link in the description. So as you can see here, our image is transparent and you know it's transparent because GIMP will show that with a checkerboard background like you see over here. Now to replace this with a background, what we can do is simply to fill the background color. And there's multiple ways to do it and I'll show you the way that I prefer. So what I like to do is go ahead and move to your layers tab over here. If you don't see that, make sure you click on layers. I'm going to right click and make a new layer. Let me just call this background. Everything else I'm going to leave as is and make sure you fill it with a transparency. You can fill it with the foreground color or the background color white or pattern, but in this case we want to be changing it on the fly. So go ahead and just click transparency for me. Now the next thing that you want to do is make sure that you move your background layer below the chair image so that the chair is above because we want to see the chair on top and then click on your background layer and let's start working on this layer. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on the bucket fill tool or shift B and it's gonna give me some options here. It's asking me for the opacity. I'll just leave it at 100%. You can fill with your foreground fill, which in this case is black. That's what it's there for. So let's just try that out. It's gonna fill it with black, so there it is. I'm just going to undo control Z. You can fill it with the background color, which in this case is going to be white. So there you go. So it's white. You can fill it with a pattern. I can choose what pattern I want. Let me just try something crazy, a little warning pattern. It's a little bit too small. We're going to have to try to scale that, but you get the idea. So let's play around a little bit here. I like to do it with the background color fill. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna undo this, Control Z, and let's switch it over to background color fill. And it's white at the moment. But what we can do is we can change the color. And how we can do that is you simply click on the white square and it'll show you these where you can select a color that you want, do your own mix depending on what you want. Or what I like to do is you can type in a code or select from your picture or from your screen. Let's try to type in a manual code because this is something else that I'd like to show you in this tutorial. Now this is a really cool website that you can use in your graphic design or any sort of creative work. It's called coolers.co and you can do your own color generator for your color palette but for this example let's just explore trending palettes and we've got some really nice color palettes over here and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to pick something real quick i think this blue kind of looks nice so let me double click on that and it'll copy that code if you missed it it's 8 e c a 8 a e 6 we'll switch back to gimp over here what I can do is I can copy that code on there, press OK, and now it's filled it with that sky blue. So when we paint with our bucket tool, we're going to get that really nice pastel color blue. Now if you missed that, let's just do another example. We'll go back to coolers over here. Let's try maybe like a nice salmon color like this one. Looks a bit trendy. So click on the blue box in this case, we'll copy it and paste it here, press OK. So we've got that salmon color. And once again, you can use, use your bucket tool to paint over it. Now in case you don't get this result, most likely you've got your background still sitting on top of your chair. Or if I just click undo, what you might have done is you might have selected your chair layer 
And if you try to paint over that, it's going to paint according to those different sections or those different regions. So it didn't paint all the way through. This is why I like to set up a separate background layer. So it helps you to avoid situations like this, where you're going to have to individually paint all the inside regions. So let me just undo that. And let's switch to our background layer and then click here to paint. And there it is. And it's as simple as that to replace the background color of an image. Now, as a bonus in this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a picture as a background. So let me just turn off this layer over here and we're back to the transparent image. I'm going to load up a picture that I've downloaded, which I think is kind of going to look nice. So I'm just dragging and dropping that into GIMP. I'll click on convert and we've got the image here loaded up as a layer. So you'll see that the layer is sitting below just in case it doesn't sit below. If it sits on top, all you could do is just drag it down so that it sits at the bottom. And I'm going to turn off the chair layer here for now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to scale this so that it kind of fits into this existing canvas size that we've got. So make sure you select on the layer. We're going to go into our scale tool over here. You hold the left click down and you can select which kind of scale that you want. I really like this scale here, shift S. This is the transform tool, by the way, I'm sorry. So shift S to use the scale tool. We'll click on the layer that we want and it'll give us these handles. And now I can scale this to fit into my canvas. I can move it a little bit. Now this is not gonna be super clean or super accurate, so just bear with me. This is just for a quick example. And let's say that's the size that I like. Go ahead and click scale or just press enter on your keyboard and it's gonna scale that image for you. Let's turn our chair back on again. And we've got our chair in front here. Let's click on our chair layer. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the same thing. So we're gonna scale the chair down. So shift S to scale. We're working on the chair layer here. That's selected. I can scale this chair down and I kind of put it down. I know this is not hyper realistic, so I'm not very good, but you get the idea. This is for the beginners out there. So if you want to try to start doing some fancy things, this is kind of how it's done. So there we go. So today we've covered replacing a transparent background with a color, with a pattern, with an image. As you can see here, I hope you learned something today. Join me in the next tutorial. The best way that you can support the channel is like the video and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.